Okay, here we go. Hello, Jim. Boys and ass fucked. Jim. Oh, so did that. Jim. Hold on. Sorry. Hello, Jim. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, dude, I can hear you, man. You hear me? Yeah, I can't see anything, though. Uh, no, we don't have a camera on, dude. It's just fucking radio, man. Oh, all right. Oh, shit. <laughs> all right. Cool, then we don't have to worry about that crap. No, no, no. Dude, so what the fuck is going on, man? We just got done blasting Fuck Them All, dude. I love that fucking song, man. <laughs> nice. I got, um, I was fortunate enough to get uh, one of the other guys from the band with me here tonight. So I got Bob, the bass player, Bob Zabel. Nice. How you doing? What's going on, man? Not much. Same, same old hanging out with you, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Well, you know what, guys? This new record is so fucking badass, man. I'm I'm so glad you guys decided to come back a, a, and do this again, you know, and put out a new route, new record. I know it's been a while, man. Like uh what? Since uh 2015, I think. Um well, 2015 was the uh Destruction System which yeah. was recorded in 92, so um it's been over 30 years since we actually recorded a, an album. Holy shit. Has yeah, it, yeah. We, we take our time. <laughs> that's, a, <laughs> that's a long time, man. Well, you know what? Hey, I, I, it, it takes a long time to do good, you know, like really great stuff. And I, I mean, I guess uh, it's worth it, man. I, I'm glad. I'm glad you like the album, man. We're, you know, it's been getting good reviews, and and uh, we, you know, we want to thank you for the the whole, you know, the 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 PR that you've been giving us, you know, with the with the battle of the bands and. And all that, and, and all that shit. Um, yeah, uh, great, greatly appreciated. Yes, man. very much. Thank you, man. You, you guys are welcome, man. And you, you know what? You guys destroyed it last month in all those polls, man. You were killing it, man. I was, I was watching. You know, every week I was like, "Holy shit, man! These guys are going for it, man. They're fucking going for it." <laughs> yeah, we, we, you know, we just kept putting it out there, and and uh, um. We got some crazy fans out there. We, we we got some people that that probably just were obsessed with it, but um, no, yeah, we're we were we're 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 up for anything. We don't like to be second in anything, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, and you know, at, at first I was like, wait a second, is this is this morbid saint like the morbid saint like the fucking, you know, like because you guys are like <laughs> legends, you know, like I mean, you know. And uh, yeah, I looked into it and I was like, yeah, it fucking for sure is, man. It's the same logo. Like, that's not a different because, you know, sometimes there's different bands that will come out. They'll have the same name, you know, and oh, sure. It gets confusing. But uh, no, yeah, real deal, man. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, we we uh, uh, I, I, I appreciate you saying we're legends. You know, we don't we don't look at it that way. We're just. It's just still the same guys doing the same thing we did back in ninety and and uh throughout the you know two thousands and all that crap and just everything worked out right now to put an put an album out and, and it seems to be doing good. Now you guys got started back in the uh mid eighties, right? Yes, correct. Yep, yep. That's that's when the original band kind of formed. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at uh, Metal Archives right now, and I'm looking. You, your first demo was 88, and then the full length was uh, 1990, Spectrum of Death. Yes, yep, correct. Fuck yeah, man. <clears throat> I've seen that record. Uh, that album cover is, like, it's legendary in itself, man. <laughs> oh, dude, the back of that record. <laughs> no, let's, yes. not, let's not talk about the back of the that back picture of that record. <laughs> that's legendary, man. <laughs> Well, speaking of covers, man, on this on the on the new one, uh, you got another legend, Ed Repka, did the uh, the artwork, correct? Yes, yes, he did. Yeah, yeah, and, and go ahead. How did that come about, man? How, how did you guys hook up with him? Well, we 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 you know when it came time for that, we just kind of discussed it a little bit, and and I was actually just sitting one night and and. I just doing my thing on YouTube and whatever and and uh seen some Megadeth and and uh, you know the older Megadeth albums and stuff mm -hmm. and I just thought it would it would be cool as shit if we could get them to do it, you know, because of the, 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 the nostalgic part of it, you know. Um and I 
mentioned it to the band and everybody agreed, you know, let's see if we can get them. And, and we could. And, and, uh, I, I think he did a great job on the album cover. I, I loved the I loved the cover. That's really cool, man. Was he, was he easy to approach? Like it was no big deal or. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It, it was, it wasn't like what I thought. I thought, you know, you're, you know, he's probably gonna be like, I ain't, I'm not doing art for you guys. Um, but he was, at, it was, it was kind of strange because when I contacted him, he was actually aware of us, you know, he had heard of us and, um, which is amazing, you know, Yeah. but, yeah. um, no, it was, it was actually pretty straightforward and, you know, and we, he, you know, kind of told him a little bit what we, we all wanted and, uh, came, he came up with some rough sketches and, and, uh, yeah, we all, we were all like, yeah, let's, let's do this. And, and, uh, <clears throat> this is what we got. Yeah, he killed it, man. I, I love that album cover, dude. It, it just it 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 uh, it, it, it had it, everything that you guys sound like on this record. It, like looking at the cover, it just it's a good um, it's a good representation of it, you know. And uh, it, it, speaking of that, you know, of album artwork, I know right now, like there's a huge debate in the uh in the internet world right now because of ai and stuff you know there's so many so many bands that are that are using ai to do album artwork and then uh versus using an actual artist to 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 create something completely unique like what's your take on that stuff i i didn't even know that that was happening but um i i i don't know i we're i think that's kind of fucked up yeah so, yeah me too but I mean, I, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, people are doing that. Really? Yeah. 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 Really? I mean, it, it, I, I mean, yeah, I, it's, it's, I, it's kind of weird. I mean, like I, on one hand, like I get it, you know, like, like if you can't afford, but I mean, at the same time, it's like, dude, we got, uh, we got this guy to do artwork for us last year for the festival, for our festival art, uh, this guy from Indonesia. And it was like, it wasn't even expensive at all, man. It was like, like I don't know, like probably like a couple tanks of gas, you know. <laughs> you know, yeah, like... you, you'd be surprised. You can, you know, we've we've had uh, some people kind of submit some stuff to us and and ask us if we you can you can hire some pretty decent artists for for pretty cheap. Yeah. Um, yeah. I I mean, shit. There's you know you know if if I think if if somebody's got a an opportunity to get their name out. You know, just by having their 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 art on on somebody's album cover and shit, I think there's a lot of people willing to do it. Yeah, for sure, man. I mean, I don't know. You know, to me, in my opinion, nothing beats like having something totally unique and having somebody's hand on something. You know, like where they're actually drawing and painting something. But you know, yeah, like, yeah. There's a place, I guess, for all kinds of different stuff, man. I don't know. Yes, absolutely. I, I, but as far as, as far as using AI for that, there's, there's, I think there's, there's, there's got to be way too many artists, you know, in the world today that are, that are, that yeah. are, that are, that are fully capable of doing it themselves. I mean, why, why would you? Well, I, you know, I have everybody's got their thing, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand that, but. Yeah, it, it trips me out, man. Cause I'm friend, I'm friends with a bunch of them, you know. And I see on Facebook all the time they're posting pictures and stuff. They're like, "This is for sale." And I'm like, "Fuck yeah, man! It's badass, dude!" Like, right? What the hell? Exactly. So I, I try yeah. to tell everybody about them, you know, and give them some help them out, give them some push, you know. Right. So, so, right. Sometimes people just don't know, you know. And in, in that case, you know, it's that's a different story. Like if you just don't know anybody, and you know, you just want to get it out there i guess you know it's understandable but right right you know but like you just said you know with with social media now you i mean you got connections everywhere that you don't even know about you just got to kind of look but there's 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 i'm there's a lot of you know like anything there's a lot of great artists out there and and, and I, I don't think you need to pay a lot to get something good no nah, no nah. Well, uh, speaking of, uh, let's back to the music, man. Like, uh, tell us, give us a brief history of the band. Like, tell us how you guys got started way back in the day. Like, like, you know, how did this whole thing start, man? I, I think it's pretty typical. 
to to any band, you know, just friends jamming. Uh, you you know, you meet different people, and and uh, okay. we we just end up after you know doing different things and everything that you know the right uh, the right people got together and and uh, just worked out that we did what we did and and you know it's more would say it's not a not a big band never has been still we're still not um and we we didn't uh, how do you, i'm trying to think how to phrase this um <laughs> it, it's kind of hard you know you gotta remember it's, it's like 30 Five, 40 years ago, whatever it was. Yeah. Um, it, it, we didn't, we, we never were, were, we never tried to, um, uh, be a big band or anything, you know, it just, we just, we found a combination that worked well and we did what we did and, and we recorded an album that fortunately with, because of the, uh, you know, I, I contribute everything to the internet that, that spectrum has the success that it does as small as it may be um that album would if without the internet nobody would have discovered it and and and, and uh here we are today for something that that we wrote you know like i said 30 some years ago and we're very fortunate to to be able to have another group of guys that you know in my mind are are not only equal but surpass what we had on on spectrum of death and 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 be able to to put on an album that nowadays that that people even care about is is freaking amazing for us man you know you bring up a good point you know that right like that about the internet too like i'm an old dude like i grew up in the 80s and 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 that's when I was getting into a lot of different metal and stuff. And back then, we didn't have any of that, you know. So it was like, if you didn't have an older cousin or, or older siblings showing you stuff, you were limited to just what you could find in Metal Edge magazine or uh, on the radio yeah. or, or, you know, later on, like what was on MTV and stuff. And so yeah. it was really, yeah. it was really limited, you know, like I remember, you know, uh, uh, growing up, you know, like f some of the first stuff, you know, was, it was Iron Maiden and Mo Motley Crue and stuff like that, because that was what was available. And then, uh, of course, Metallica, and then I started getting into thrash and then death metal and then all that stuff. But like, yeah, I didn't even know about you guys back then, you know, like I know about you now. Now that we have now that we have the internet, you know, like you can find out about so many different stuff, so many different bands that were out back in those days that a lot of us didn't know about because we didn't have any way of of finding out about it, you know. It was all like a lot of tape trading, and yeah, if one one of your buddies had a had a cool album, if you could dub that album from him, like a dual yes. cassette boombox you know <laughs> yeah that's pretty much how that shit worked back in the day you know it is yeah. it is yeah yeah i had i had an older friend that lived down the street and uh, i remember we started riding skateboards together and stuff and i went over to his house and he had all these overkill tapes and sepultura and all this crazy stuff and i was like what the fuck is this and so you know <laughs> yeah. just constantly like trading you know and dubbing each other's yeah. cassettes and fucking like that's that's yeah. what we did man we were, yeah, that's... we were stealing the hell out of each other's shit <laughs> yeah yeah totally <laughs> totally i mean we were we were uh what the hell is that that lars don't like again uh you know Na but, napster yeah we yeah. were we yeah. were napster i mean that, that's the that's... ground floor of napster is oh, ape yeah. trading man yeah what do you want you know I, we, you know and and I totally spaced off where I was going with that one. No, you know, and, and I think I think that's why a lot of us from that era latched on to music different than than people do now because because what you had was so limited that you know when you like you said when you got a tape you played the shit out of that thing. Oh yeah, you know. Oh yeah. Nowadays you can just 
just slide your finger on your phone and get another song and and it's it's almost never ending now so i i think that's why people from our era have more of a i think we have more of a, an appreciation for the music we grew up with if that makes sense yeah yeah well we had to because yeah like you said we we had to sit there and listen to those tapes over and over and over because we, <laughs> oh yeah you only, you only had like so many you know like Oh, yeah, and you, you think about it, too, back then, if you got lucky to have a store that sold, like, uh, cool music, you know, thrash metal, because you couldn't just go to a Kmart or a Walmart mm -hmm. and pick, uh, pick up, a, you know, a, a hardcore thrash album. They weren't selling them. You had to hope that there was, like, a somebody went to a store that was selling, you know, the really cool shit like from the west coast or the east coast you know i mean it wasn't like mainstream or, or like how easy it is now it was like hard to get so if one guy got it everyone was taping off him <laughs> yeah yep yeah and a lot of it too back then like going to the record stores you 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 wouldn't even know like half the time what the shit sounded like it was just based on yep. if, <laughs> if it had a cool album cover and you know well, did it look cool on the back? You know, like what were some of the song yeah. titles? Did they did they resonate with you and stuff like that? Like that's that's all it would take sometimes. You know, fuck. Yeah, and sometimes there's a swing and a miss. You know, sometimes you're like, oh shit, the album cover looked great, but oh yeah. boy, yeah, <laughs> yep. oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that, that too. That should happen all the time back then. Yep, we're like, oh man, the album cover looked awesome, but oh shit, what is that? You know, but yeah. <laughs> Well, not like it is today. Oh yeah. Well, speaking of that, uh, can you tell us tell us some of your influences? What were some of the bands that you guys were listening to back then when you were getting started? Like, what what got you into playing metal? Uh, I'll let Bob. I'll let Bob go first on this one because I got to get another drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, playing it or just listening to it. I mean, when I was a real little kid. It was Kiss. Hell yeah. Um, Oh yeah, I listened to my my brother Dave had a he had a Kiss Alive two tape, and when I was having to do the dishes, I'd put it into my parents' little one speaker tape recorder and listen to Kiss Alive two while I was doing the dishes. Um, as far as like once it was time to play, yeah, I would be like Judas Priest, Iron Maiden, uh, things like that, you know. Um, except, uh, yeah, that was pretty much. Once it was time to actually start jamming and playing and stuff, yeah, that that was those were mine. And then once it started getting a little heavier, like Metal Church, Metallica, you know, once we got into that, that you know, the old Slayer, you know, Show No Mercy and stuff, yeah, Creator. Uh, for me, uh, it, you know, I, I I get these things with interviews, and I, and I hear people. Um, say that all, all all us old guys say say the same thing you know that that were you know our influences are uh judas priest and and maiden and uh sabbath and everything but you know there's really no other answer for it because because of of, of that time that's what it was you know we didn't we didn't there there was nothing i mean that was the music i'm sure you understand that that's 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 naturally going to be our influences. I you know, we don't, I don't say that to, 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 for any other reason, except for the fact that that's what we had. And, you know, when growing up in the, in the eighties, that, you know, heavy metal pretty much was what our influences were. Um, it, it, that's kind of how you, how you start playing and, and that's what you play when when slayer and metallic and stuff that that's for me that's what really changed changed everything you know from but but you've but you've but your ground your your roots are in in that heavy metal you know that heavy metal genre at the, of the time and um but like bob said you know the slayers metallica's exodus you know, when you start hearing that stuff, you know, we're from a small town, so it, it, it takes a little bit for that to get to us. Not like now, it's it, it's instantaneous with the internet. So back then, by the time that stuff got to us and we heard it, um, 
that was really the game changer that that showed us where we wanted to go or or me as my, individually that that's what i would have to say and a lot of people say you know what morbid saint we were a little late to the game with spectrum of the death and or spectrum of death and 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 that's probably part of the reason for that hell yeah man you guys still there yeah, yeah, we're here. Yeah, yeah. I thought we lost the for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I remember, I remember uh, uh, MTV had that thing called Dial uh, Dial MTV on on Friday uh, Friday evenings or something after school, and every week, you know, it was everything on there was like it was all the hair metal stuff. All the all those kind of bands, you know, and I liked a lot of that stuff too. But I remember distinctly when Metallica that video for one came on there. Mm. Yep. Hell yeah. And it was right at number one, the first fucking time ever like everybody was calling in for it when as soon as they heard that they had a video and it was yeah. put on there and I saw that and I was like, What the fuck is this? Cause oh, it was yeah. just you know, it was black and white, they looked pissed off. The riffs were yeah. heavy, you know, it was just, it was mean. It was like, damn, man. Oh, they, yeah, they had all that, uh, they had all that, all the movie clips in there, too. I mean, it was like, yeah, nothing you could see, you know, it was way cool. Oh, it was so dark, man. And, and in contrast to everything that else that was so colorful at the time, that it really made it stand out. And, yeah, I remember going and buying that record right away and then, and then going back through their catalog and getting kill them all and ride the lightning master of puppets. And then, you know, reading the liner notes and checking out like, who are they friends with? And who, you know, like who are they thanking and stuff like that? And then go check it out. Those bands too. That's another thing. Like the liner notes in, in those old records and tapes, you know, that was, a big, <laughs> that was, that was your way too. like right there. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yep. That, it, 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 that was, and, and, and on our, on our new album, we did, we did nothing of that. We, you know, we didn't do any sort of that kind of stuff just because it didn't seem like people, kids, whatever nowadays are even interested in that. I, you know, that's just our take on it. You know, it, it seems like kids nowadays don't want to read anything. You know, they want, <laughs> it's, a, you know? it's a small, yeah, it's a small, uh, it's a small clique of people that they still do. There, There's still people out there that do it. I mean, but right. Which is which is cool, uh, you know. As much. Yeah, we could have did it. We, you know, we could have done that, but yeah, we decided not to. But um, you know, you're getting back to you know, like one the video one. Um, for, for us, um, I I still remember. I still remember being at a party one night, and and we had a we had a, a rural heavy station back when we were young, coming out of Michigan. I think it was yeah, Z Rock. Z Rock. Yeah, um, I mean, they played, they played, they were playing Chastain and, Slayer. and you know, Slayer and all this shit. Yeah. And I, I remember being at a party one night and we're all sitting there and, and it comes on the radio that Cliff Burton died. And, and, and it was like, holy shit, are you serious? You know, I mean, we were at that point, you know, Metallica had played here in Milwaukee on their Kill 'em All tour. And it, it, that was like, holy, it is. Well, they on their Master of Puppets tour too. They came through, yeah, they, they before he died, before, before they went well, overseas. But I mean, they were they were actually back around the Kill 'Em All tour. So you saw him with Cliff. Yeah, I. What was that I, like, man? I'll, I'll, I'll I, never, I, never, my, I never got. I kicked myself in the ass for that. I, I I I I had multiple opportunities to see him on the Kill 'Em All, the Ride the Lightning, um, Master of Puppets. And I never got to see him, and I'm not going to go into the reasons why I didn't get to see him, but <laughs> um, it had to do with uh, mind altering uh, <laughs> things at the time. Um, but yeah, I never did. I never actually did get to see. Uh, I, I should have been able to, but I didn't. But but I mean, but you know, before, like you said, one was was a big thing with MTV, but before, way years before that. Metallica was was a huge, huge influence. Oh yeah, they were already our 
heroes long yeah, before long. When justice for all came yeah. out we already were way way deep way in the into, way yeah. deep into metallica yeah back when kill mall just came out you know and yeah yeah Man, I, I never saw them live either myself, man. Uh, you know, that's one of the few bands that I've never gone to see live, and I don't know why. Uh, whenever I was in high school, my girlfriend at the time, she had tickets to go see them. It was during the Black Album Tour. And at that point, I was already starting to fall into that whole thing of like, you know, ah, they're not really heavy anymore. You know, like at that point, I was getting into like death metal and stuff like that. And for some reason I kick myself now when I look back, cause I'm like, man, that was a cool fucking tour. When I watched videos of it, that was cool. I should have gone, Ooh. but I didn't for some reason. I was like, nah, nah, I don't want to go to that. You know, like <laughs> yeah, I seen that. I seen them with metal church when metal church still had their original singer at, uh, the Summerfest grounds, the Marcus Sampa theater. And it was on the Injustice for All. Injustice? Tour. Yeah, was, yeah, I didn't get to see Cliff. I never I never got to see Cliff either. But I was so jacked to see Metal Church. And it's still when they had that original vocalist on. Yeah. Man, they, they were fucking spot on, man. It was, that was what a great show that was, man. But, yeah. Not even interested in seeing Metallica? You were there for Metal Church? I was kind of there for Metal Church. <laughs> I understand, man. <laughs> Metal Church was badass too, man. They oh, they, man. they still are, actually. I mean, they right. yeah, yeah, a absolutely. But those first two albums, man. Holy oh, fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. was just brutal, man. And Metallica was great too, man. I mean, I love Metallica too, but oh yeah, Metal Church was. And then I have the slightest little story, and it, it kind of related to Jim's reason he didn't see Cliff Burton. I. Just, I totally remember the first time seeing that one video, talking to my girlfriend on the phone, and I too was on, you know, mind altering things when that video came on, and it was it was, it was the uh, it was the premiere of the video, so it was the first time I went dead silent, like she was asking, "Are you on the phone? Are you there?" I couldn't even fucking talk, man. I was like, yeah. "Wow, just just." I mean, blew me away, man. I was like, holy shit, is that cool, man? Wow. But, yeah. There, there, there's a reason Metallica, you know, you know, a lot of people, a lot of, uh, you know, people who are in the thrash or whatever, you know, will say, you know, Metallica did this, did this, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, it, 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 in, when, it, when it comes down to it, Metallica, in my mind, is a thrash band. And they're... They are, without a doubt, the biggest metal band ever. Yeah, and 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 he started out as a, a hardcore thrash band. Oh yeah, and and that and that's you know, and people will say, well, yeah, because they did this. Well, you know what? At the end of the day, they <clears throat> they they went where their influences took them, and and hey, hey fuck, more power to you. Know, I, I mean, I don't listen to new Metallica. I I don't care for it. Um, but they're still. They're Metallica, man. You know. Yeah, I still have all their good stuff. I yeah. mean, not that they're, you know. I'm just saying. Yeah. That they have a special place in one's heart. Absolutely. If, when we, you're, we grew up on that shit. Man. Absolutely. I, I definitely, I do like their newer stuff now, and, and I do uh, appreciate a lot of the stuff that came out like later on. But like, yeah, during 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 that one period of time, like I was just like, man. But you know they they did they they definitely paved the way because I remember uh, uh, not long after Injustice for All we moved to uh, we were living in, near Baltimore and there was a radio station it was a college radio station called the Underground and they became an FM station because it just became so big but these dudes were all just metalheads and I was sit there for hours every night just tape recording all their shows. And they were playing all kinds of stuff, you know, be, and it was because that sort of opened the gates. They were playing Exodus and Testament and uh, King yeah, Diamond right. and, and fucking yep. all this weird shit that I'd never heard before. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> and that that's cool, you know, like, you, you know, there's th nobody can take that away from them, man. Like, they definitely no. they definitely opened up uh, the world to to a lot of stuff, you know, and that's cool. Oh, they were on the ground floor to that, to the thrash 
where it started to become thrash that we all know as, as thrash. They were right there. And like, like you and like you said, they they opened they 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 did pave the way for so many other bands to to you know to you know like you said, you're hearing you know King Diamond and you know Merciful Faith or whatever and all this shit on radio stations that you never heard that before, you know. Like you know, like I said before, when we had when when Z Rock came on the air by us, it was like holy shit, man! Yeah, I don't this, even know how we fucking got that station. I I don't know how Michigan. We, yeah, it, 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 well, we're not that far because you know there's only Lake Michigan between us, but yeah, we could get it, and it was freaking. We discovered so much shit off of yeah. that, and that's that's like that's I said, but station. but I think I think Metallica really really opened the door for a lot. Absolutely, and and like you said, you ain't you ain't taking that way. You ain't nope, taking that ever. Away from them at all. Yeah, it's still good. That those albums are still oh, yeah. good. Yeah. Oh yeah. So so what's coming next for Morbid Saint, man? What do you guys have planned for the future, man? You guys have any live dates coming up? Uh, we got we have some shows coming up. Um. Yeah, I and I had it all up there before. I, you know, it, it 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 there's there's a lot of shit going on right now with the with the album, um, just being released, and uh, we're we're starting to pick stuff up. You know, we got some stuff later in the year. We got uh, we're playing Hell's Heroes at the end of March. I think it's like the twenty eighth. Yeah, something like that. Something yeah. like that down in Houston, Texas. Um, which we're looking forward to that. That's that's going to be a cool show. Yeah, I, we've never I, been in Texas. Yeah, yeah. Morbid Saints never played in Texas, so we're finally playing down there. Uh, we're playing the Czech Republic, uh, I think, in uh, October. Uh, we're playing New York and Philly and Washington, Washington in September. Um, Chicago. Chicago's coming up, uh, which is as close about as close as we're going to play. We don't. We will. We don't want to play in our hometown right now, um, so that's about as close as it's going to get for us here. What about we got that? What about Tennessee, man? Are you guys coming to Tennessee? I don't know. Are you going to bring us there? Yeah, you bring us there. We'll come. <laughs> hey, man, ha- have you submitted to the fest yet? I, you know, I, I, I was looking at that and I'm like, should we submit to this? I, I, I you know, I kind of watched some videos and I'm like, I'm, I'm not really sure if, if, if we're like heavy enough to play down there. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious dude do it man do it man please do it man you will add when when it when is that when is that fest october 5th october 5th early in october yep i'll submit it dude uh, if you if you if you think we'll fit in down there I, oh yeah i we'd be glad to play down there man oh, i didn't see this. what what are we talking here i i, I it's uh why why don't you fill us in? Tennessee Metal Devastation Music Fest, man. It's our festival that we have here. Uh this will be our third year. And last year we had like fucking like fourteen, fifteen hundred people showed up to watch a bunch of bands that were all underground. Like most of them nobody had ever even heard of. And yeah. it's just it's a big deal here because nothing like that ever comes to this to the city. It's a real yeah. small uh Jackson is like a small city in between Memphis and Nashville. But there's a shit ton of fucking metalheads here. There's a big there's a growing scene here. It's 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 a beautiful thing, man. I mean like uh last year, like a few days after the fest, I was in the mayor's fucking office fucking talking about it. Like that's how big of a deal it was, man. So Oh nice. Uh, yeah. It, nice. It, it, the the videos that I seen, I think from last year's um I, it looks like you guys got almost like a flea market type thing going on. Yeah, Am I yeah. Correct? Lot, lots of local vendors, lots of uh, people that come out, and and uh, we just we really try to support the local scene here. You know, we just bring all the different artists and uh, everybody together and have a big party, man. I mean, you know, if, I mean, honestly, if you like, I said, if you if you think you think we we fit in there, or I. I will. I'll. I'll submit that shit. I, you know, we're we're always looking to, you know, we're we're we're, we're looking for, uh, we're we're we're, we're uh, how do you say? Um, we we really want to play the festivals like the Hell's Heroes and and uh, uh, Full Terror Assaults coming up, and and we might have some talks with them playing there. But um, you know, we're all we're all 
fucking we're all geared up to to take a drive and and go play wherever anybody welcomes us so i mean you know if you think we'd be welcome there you know we're we're all for it absolutely man absolutely well guys i'm about out of questions for you is there anything else you want to let the people know um you know you know we're we're uh this ain't the it's it's a it's a new beginning for morbid saint with with the new band um you know the new lineup you know we got bob who's here you know incredible bass player we got a phenomenal drummer um we're you know we are we don't we're just starting with with this chapter of morbid saint and and it's not going to be just one album so hell yeah let's 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 uh we got we got we're, we're old but we're not done yet put it that way I know we've sent everything out when we're telling everybody about it, but for people out there, if they don't know, where can they go? Where's the best place they can go to support you guys, buy some merch, buy records and stuff like that. The, the, well, our, our website, morbidsaint.com is all, all it's, it's getting there. You know, we, we handle everything ourselves. So, um, the, the site's getting, getting bigger. Um, we're adding more stuff to it and we'll continue to do that. Uh, our, obviously our Facebook, uh, if you're in Europe, they'd want Instagram. to pull the high roll records, right? Yeah, if you're international, uh, high roll records sells all of our stuff, you know, officially licensed stuff direct. Um, YouTube, you know, we're going to continue to keep putting stuff on there. Uh, you know, we're not, we're not, we're not, uh, young kids that, that all we have is our whole day to sit and pound on social media. So, well, so we, we do what we can. We have, you know, some people helping us with that and, and, but, but we're trying to, we're trying to do everything we can to, to keep it, make it as, as accessible as it can to be everybody to, to everybody. But, uh, you know, Spotify, uh, we've, we've seen pretty good results on, yeah, on Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're, we're all for the streaming. I know some people don't like that, but we're, we're okay with it, you know, because we're not, like I said before, you know, we're not a big band. So, you know, any, any help we can get to, to, to get the name out and, 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 uh, you know, bring in new fans and, and everything. And I believe it's all, it's out on all media platforms, right? I mean, like, yeah, Spotify, pretty much. Yeah. You can go to Apple Pandora, music, right? all, and it's, it's, it's everywhere. And, um, but yeah, we're we're doing everything we can, but and and we're going to continue to you know try to get out there and play as much as we can because you know we're a live band and we want to play live and tear shit up everywhere we can and and uh, like I said before, if you know, hopefully you might see us down at your festival. Fuck yeah, yeah. be be awesome if we can, you know. Be badass, dude. Well, before I let you guys go, can I get you to make us a station tag real quick? Your turn. My turn. Oh yeah, I did the last one. <laughs> all right what do you got what do you got for me zach whenever you're ready say something like this is morbid saint and you're listening to metal devastation radio anytime i'm ready yeah whenever you're ready this is morbid saint you're listening to metal devastation radio with zach moonshine stay morbid <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah man fuck yeah well dudes thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us man i really appreciate it and uh what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna blast some more morbid saint for these motherfuckers so they can go crazy all right nice man nice <laughs> absolutely. Enjoy, man. absolutely thank thanks a lot zach thanks for the pr uh it, it's fuck. it's awesome man yes you're doing an awesome job man. yeah thank you thank you a lot man much thanks you got it, man. Stay in touch and let us know, man. We'll, we'll hook some up. All right. I'm gonna shoot that. Uh, the I'm gonna submit us to to your thing now. Yes, do it, man. <laughs> awesome. All right, man. We'll talk to you later. Good talking to you, brother. Later, Zach. Cheers. Cheers. There you have it, folks. Morbid Saint live on the Zach Moonshine Show with Metal Devastation Motherfucking Radio. 
like I said earlier, put your speakers in your windows, put them in your front lawns, put them in your neighbor's driveway. Do whatever the fuck you got to do, man. If you don't see U-Haul trucks everywhere tomorrow, what the fuck are you even doing, man? Seriously, dude. Crank it the fuck up, man. Here's here's some classic morbid saint for you motherfuckers, man. For you old school motherfuckers.